Auditing and Assurance Standards Board approved a new standard on compilation engagements called Canadian Standard on Related Services 4200. It replaces the compilation engagement standard we have today, which is Section 9200 and Assurance and Related Service Guideline Number 5. The new standard updates and strengthens the requirements and guidance for accepting, conducting, and reporting on compilation engagements. The Board's decision to update the existing standard was driven by the input we received from hundreds of stakeholders. The Board learned that the existing standard, which has not been revised in nearly 35 years, was outdated for the current environment and needs of stakeholders. In 2018, we issued an exposure draft detailing our proposed improvements to the Compilation Engagement Standard. In response, the Board received substantial feedback from several sources, including 188 comment letters, roundtables held across Canada, and from lenders through a survey. Discussion sessions were also held with stakeholders who field tested the exposure draft. All this feedback was essential in shaping the Board's decisions in developing the new standard. The new standard will benefit both users and practitioners of compiled financial information. Let's look at its key features. The new standard has a brand new compilation engagement report that is more informative and insightful than the current notice to reader. We heard the users are unclear as to the extent of work performed by the practitioner and they asked for greater transparency about those responsibilities and what a compilation engagement entails. One of the most significant changes is a requirement that the compiled financial information includes a note describing the basis of accounting that was applied. Until now, users generally lack understanding of how the financial information was prepared. The scope of the standard has been updated to provide clarity as to what services are compilation engagements. For example, the description of bookkeeping has been clarified to help practitioners better distinguish between a bookkeeping service and a compilation engagement. With the old standard, practitioners found it difficult to distinguish the two services. The new standard specifies conditions for when a practitioner can accept or continue a compilation engagement when the information is intended to be used by a third party. Because the majority of compiled financial information is prepared using a basis of accounting that is not a general purpose framework, such information may not be appropriate for use by certain third parties. Today, practitioners are unclear about whether it's appropriate to accept or continue a compilation engagement when there's a third party user. The new standard includes specific work effort and documentation requirements. The old standard lacks sufficient guidance in this area, which is a reason for the wide variation in work effort and documentation that exists in practice today. Overall, the project was challenging, but I would say in a positive way, given the board's significant efforts in reconciling the various views that were expressed by stakeholders. We're proud of the final standard because it incorporates a balanced response to stakeholder views. It will improve transparency to users about compiled financial information and clearly communicate the nature of the engagement. It will also better assist practitioners in performing compilation engagements. The standard will be available in the CPA Canada Assurance Handbook in February 2020. It applies for periods ending on or after December 14th, 2021, with early application permitted. That may sound like a way off, but its impact could be significant, and so planning is required right now. The revisions will mean a substantial change in practice for many practitioners, so it's important that they take appropriate action to prepare in advance of the effective date. The impact of these changes will also be felt by users, including loan officers who use compiled financial information when granting loans or extending credit. In 2020, CPA Canada will issue several publications to promote awareness, understanding and effective implementation of the new standard. These publications include a client briefing, a third party briefing for lenders and other third parties, and a practitioner implementation tool. We recommend you do not wait to take action. There are a number of steps you can start doing now. For example, you can read the new standard, 
read the basis for conclusions document to understand how the board dealt with the significant matters that we heard from uh, respondents to the exposure draft. You can read the CPA Canada publications and other materials. Uh, consider how the new standard impacts your practice and your current engagements. And foremost, talk to your clients about the potential impact to them. For more information and to stay up to date, visit frascanada.ca slash compilation engagements.